Hello, second year. Well, today is Monday, the 18th of May. We are going to, it's sunny and cold, yes, okay, and we are going to, today we are going to uh, um, analyze the mistakes from the revision on unit four and the mistakes in your writing, the mistake you have in your, you have in your writing from page 53 from the class book, exercise five, the two messages, yes. In class, we are going to uh, do the video watch, pages 54 and 55, 55 exercises, one, two, three, four, plus the talking, yes, okay, and um, then the homework, you have two, uh, this is the oral task, the oral evaluation, evaluation from unit four, yes, that is, you have to talk about what activities you do, what activities you do in your free time, Yes, how often you do these activities and why you like and why you enjoy them, why you like doing these activities. But first of all, we are going to check everything. Then we are going to warm up what you are going to talk. Yes, because the video watch 4F is about free time activities. Okay, is it clear? Well, let's start. Yes, I will clean the board. You will have your photo pizarra, this in the photo pizarra, yes, okay, you can uh, record in two or three minutes, okay, two, three minutes, between two and three minutes, two minutes and a half, three, yes, okay, well, you know this kata, ves, tenés dos archivos pdf acá, la idea era que me manden en una misma hoja un mail y otro mail, ¿está? Porque aunque ustedes no lo crean, es décima de segundo, pero a mí me eh, agiliza más la corrección. Y fíjense que ahora el tema de las correcciones son diferentes, porque uno tiene que contar con internet, ¿sí? Tenés que aprovechar los horarios que hay buen internet, porque todos tenemos problemas de conectividad también, a veces se corta y te quedas... No es como la teacher corregía antes, llevaba al jardín, llevaba a cualquier lado sus corrections, y no, ahora dependemos de internet, así que lo más rápido posible tiene que ser también la corrección, por eso necesitamos mucha organización, ¿está? Bueno, uh, lo que, a lo que nos referíamos con esto es que vos tenés que poner to Emma, coma, ¿sí? To Emma. Hi friend, coma, abajo. Por eso te pusimos el párrafo aparte. ¿Sí? Todos tuvieron, la, the majority have, yes, this mistake. Hi friend, coma, y empiezo a escribir abajo. Yes, en otro párrafo. Yes, ok. Uh, Cata, dear fulanito, hello, en párrafo abajo, y poner las dos fechas. ¿Qué pasó, Cata, con las dos fechas? Fecha de que se pide el trabajo y fecha de entrega. Yes, okay. Sabrina. Yes. No voy a mostrar todo, pero como por ejemplo este, ¿vieron? En una misma hoja está el message 1 y el message 2. Hi, ta, 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 coma y abajo comenzamos. ¿Está? Hi, ta, coma. Agregale acá Constanza, o oh, es una coma esto. Bueno, Pensé que era una coma, pero no sé si es el nombre de la chica que termina con algo ahí. ¿Está? ¿Yes? ¿Ok? Bueno, que esté en un mismo, uh, in the same paper. ¿Yes? ¿Sí? Muy bien, Santi, también, ¿vieron? From, ta, 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 from, to, que es el formato del email. Ta, ta, ta. Ojo la I mayúscula, ¿sí? ¿Ok? Bueno. Tenemos Cata, eh, Sabri, need help, I need your help, for plus ing. For plus ing. Entonces, coma, párrafo aparte, for plus ing. I want you to help me. Es, I want, fulanito, somebody, to infinity. ¿Está? Yes, anótense por favor los errores. Yes, good. Um, 
Santi estaba perfecto, solamente esto, ¿eh? La I esta. Sabemos ya que es la I mayúscula. Well done, Santi. Yes, ok. Renata, write you, write to you to tell me. I am writing, I am writing. To you, to tell you, yes, está, I am writing, acuérdate que es write to somebody, este es el error común de otros también, eh, to infinitive, I need you to tell me, I need, eh, no, este es como I want también, I need somebody to infinitive, yes, ok, is it clear, yes, all right, todos estos common mistakes tienen que estar anotado. I want you to write the common mistakes, yes, in your notebook, ok? So, de hello, hi, coma, comienzo abajo. Uh, write to somebody. I want somebody to do something, yes, ok? Um, I need, I need... Somebody to infinitive you to tell me. I need you to tell me. Um, Agustín Ramírez. Eran dos mails de 20 palabras. Pay attention to the consignal, to the statement. Yeah? But uh, all the same, uh, your writing was very good. Yes, very good in, in content. Yes. Wait a minute, um, but uh, hay que respetar las consignas, yes, ok. No me manden eh, cosas que no sea en PDF, por favor, yes, si me mandan actividades que no son en PDF, no puedo corregir, así que devuelvo, yes o no, yes, yes teacher. Ahí estamos. Yes, ok. Muy bien el contenido. Dice, Dear Mateo, voy a sentar acá para manejarlo. Dear Mateo, email, tiene las dos fechas, Dear Mateo. Sí, no respete la consigna este, este email, pero tiene, está muy, muy buen hecho, muy bien hecho. Contenido, vocabulario, todo. Y tenses. Thanks for your email. I have an idea. An idea. We can cook and play in the park next Sunday. I have, lo I have a lot of cooking recipes to use and lots of toys to play. I have another idea. We can go, um, we can play sports here in the USA. There are a lot of places. We can learn boxing, basketball, football, tennis or mountain biking. I can ride the bike, no drive, eh? very well. We can do mountain biking. You can play basketball very well. We can play that if you want. Next year, I'm going to travel to Mexico. I have heard that in Mexico there are many school sports. You can come with me and we can do paragliding and surfing. You can do surfing very well. I have never surfed in my life. Muy bien, el uso de present perfect. But I hope you can teach me. Well done, well done. Write to me. Está muy bien, Ramírez, pero remember that we're two emails from 20 words. Print the statements. Yes, okay? Is it clear? Yes. Pero lo quería mostrar porque está muy, muy, muy um, completo, ordenado. Yes, okay? Is it clear? Good. Over there, yes. Connie, I think you can because, Luana, if you can tell me what the boss said yesterday. In, esta, es una, esta es una indirect question, yeah? ¿Por qué? Porque dice, I want to know, I want to know, yes, if, Ah, uh, que era algo del jefe era. 
Uh, I want to know what the boss said yesterday. ¿Está? Yes, I want to know what the boss said yesterday. No, what did the boss say. Esta no va acá. Va la primera, ¿sí? Me gustaría saber qué dijo el jefe. ¿Está? Y tiene que estar. WH, sujeto y el verbo en el que quieras usar, ¿sí? Ya lo vamos a ver a eso más adelante, pero vos lo necesitabas ahora. Ver formas ING, puntos, ¿sí? También lo mismo, Agustín, los dos emails en la misma carta. Agustín, me parece que te está faltando chequear, ¿sí? Y a la mayoría. Van a disminuir el número de errores cuando empiecen a chequear. You need to check before handing in. Bien. Hello, Lucas, coma abajo. I am writing to you. Otra vez, write to somebody. Because está mal escrito. I need. Entonces, esto es cuestión de atención. If you check, cuando chequeas, en la segunda vuelta te vas a dar cuenta. You are going to realize that it's not well written. I need your help for. Delta, ta, ta, ta. Patient requests me. For that prosthesis and went and I did it wrong, porque la hiciste mal. Yes, ok. Entonces, a prestar atención. Faltó la despedida en esa carta. Right soon, fulanito de tal. Yes, y después tenemos Hello Axel, I want to tell you about the new movie. Da, 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 da. I am inviting you for watching present continuous formas ING, entonces salen cosas que yo me doy cuenta que es cuestión de atención, porque present continuous you already know, present simple you already know, past you already know, future you already know, but you have to pay attention, yes, spelling mistakes, reread, read. por favor háganme caso porque si no no va a disminuir y vamos a seguir corrigiendo y va a seguir habiendo muchos elementary mistakes. Eh, Pilar Sosa no me mandaste todavía, hoy controlé y no me mandaste todavía de vuelta, en el formato. Chequea, por favor, que te lleguen las actualizaciones a tu celular. ¿Yes? Pilar, no me enviaste. ¿Yes? Ok. Y hasta ahí corregí. El resto o envió mal o no envió. Así que, ojo, 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 ojo. So, let's go to the... Um, to the... Uh, tests. ¿Yes? Ok. We are going to go there. Yes, revision. All right. Have a look at the mistake. See if you understand. Yes, okay. You know, now, now I am having... Uh, while I am recording, I am having uh, problems with the connectivity, you know? Entonces, cuando anda bien, <laughs> hay momentos que, por eso le va a ver, van a ver ustedes que está llegando, eh, les llega los, eh, miren el horario de la corrección, que a veces son las 2 de la mañana y yo sigo corrigiendo, porque eh, cada uno ya sabe en cuál momento anda bien, anda mal, entonces hay que aprovechar para yo poder cumplir con ustedes, así que, si yo les pido en un formato normal, mándenme un formato que la teacher requiere. Bueno. Bueno, lo van a ver ustedes porque no... A ver, se carga ahí. Ahí sí. Constanza y... A ver, a ver, a ver, a ver... Yo ya les corregí, chicas, ¿sí? Eso que había enviado... A ver, a ver, a ver, a ver... A ver. Me está cargando, a ver... Voy a ver... Bueno... Wait. 
incubation. Uh, the most inter interesting thing, the most important thing, not interesting, is that you have to check the corrections. Look at the corrections. So, the first thing you will do now, yes, now, is to open your file, see your corrections, and analyze the mistakes, yes? Because I, I will explain everything, yes? Okay? Y comenzamos. ¿Es clear? Good. Vos lo mirás en tu casa porque esto es para seguir nomás. Number one. Yes? Are you there? Good. Wait a minute. Okay, number one, circle the old one out. Tengo que preguntarles algo. Are you watching the video? Yes? From the instructions to do the, uh, the revision? Yes, because I think the majority is not watching the video. Yes? Remember, in the last video class, in the first part, I corrected the activity book. Yes? The pages that were, you were supposed to do for that class. Then I explain each of these exercises, yes, and then I give tips for you to take into account, yes, when you are doing the revision. A mí se me hace que hay gente que está yendo a resolver directamente la actividad, pero no está viendo las instrucciones. Esto yo lo hago como si fuera que ustedes estuvieran en clases. Explicamos las consignas ¿sí? y damos tips a tener en cuenta. Así que, ojo. Keep an eye on this. Everyday activities. Yes? Verb plus noun. Circle the old one now. Decía que hagamos un círculo a la palabra que no va en el grupo. Yes? Y la mayoría, esto está bien, ¿no? Pero la mayoría hizo cualquier cosa y le hizo a otra palabra, ¿sí? Está, así que atención ahí. So we have uh, ice hockey, yes, era la the old one out, dice, and then write the verb. Y después escribí el verb collocation, porque es verb plus noun collocation. Do taekwondo, do exercise, y no puede ser ice hockey ahí. Go. On holiday, go swimming. Go films, no va. Entonces había que touch out the old one out. A musical instrument, y después era read emails, read a magazine, and meet. Internet, no. The internet, no. Meet family and friends. ¿Está? Ok, let's go to number two. Muy bien, swimming, boxing, sailing, football, cycling, yes. Uh, cricket, exercise three. ¿Qué pasó acá? En la consigna. O sea, me da la pauta that, that you are not reading the consigna. You are not reading the consigna. What happened to you? Están sentando a hacer ciego las cosas. Están sentando a hacer... Uh, no están viendo. Yes, ok. Like, love, plus ing. I love using. ¿Vos qué sabías desde third grade? That like, don't like, van con ing. Y ahora se te unen más verbos. Love, enjoy, yes? Entonces, after, like, love, don't like, enjoy, the verb goes with ing. En este caso está bien, pero fíjense que hay otros casos que no. Cada uno se fija en su corrección. We don't like making. She doesn't like shopping. He loves browsing the internet. Y la mayoría acá se comió esto. 
de inter. Y obvio, le bajamos juntos. Yes, I don't like going gym. To the gym. Tenés que completar correctamente lo que falta. Yes, ok. So pay attention there. Number four. Adverbs and expressions of frequency. Yes. Está ahí. Ojo. ¿Cuántas veces te dijo la teacher ya que está ahí? No solamente a Luana. For everybody. Yes. Con, configurar el teclado y se meto en mayúscula. I don't have problems. I am often late for work. Ese often también lo expliqué. Y puse una cosa. Si es necesario, tenés una ventaja. You have one advantage. You can watch the video classes again and again and again and again. Yes? So if you didn't, if you don't know this, yes, or if you don't remember, go back. Puedes estudiar conmigo ahí. ¿Sí? Rewind the video, play it again, and see the like, don't like. I am often. Are you... Often sat. I am often at work. Is it clear? Yes. Ojo el lugar donde va el often. En este caso, el Luana lo hizo bien, pero hay gente que no lo hizo bien. ¿Ok? Bien, Luana. They play basketball at the gym. They, sujeto, verbo, complemento. Donde every Thursday. El adverbio al final. Kevin usually plays football on Sundays. Yeah? She meets her family on the third Sunday every month. She meets her family on the third, on the third Sunday every uh, month. ¿Está? <coughs> And then uh, when you have this. This is for, in, bueno, esto ya está, grammar. ¿Qué más ocupa? Esto, lo de arriba era present simple. What you don't have to forget in present simple that when it is he, she, it, the verb takes s, or es. In the affirmative case, then you have do or does as auxiliary verbs. When you have do or does, the verb goes in infinity. And it's for routine. Thank you. Yes? Can. Más el verbo el Infinitivo. En cualquier cosa pusieron alguno. How many languages can you speak? She can't swim very well. I can't sing, but not very well. Y lo que se agregó, porque se van agregando cosas a la gramática. Can, vos ya lo sabías desde primer grado, pero ahora se agrega can más un adverbio. I can't sing very well. I can't uh, speak. Chinese, slowly. ¿Está? Entonces, vos sabés que tenés un adverbio que va a modificar al verbo. ¿Cómo podés cantar? Lentamente, fácilmente. ¿Es clear? Entonces, eso es lo que se agregó. Um, you need to study. Necesitan estudiar. La teacher Ruth no hace milagros, ¿eh? ¿Ok? Y después, bueno, el writing. Yes, que la mayoría entendió que lo tenía que hacer ahí. Yes, okay, perfect. So, bye-bye correction of mistakes and let's go to um, routine activities because you are going to talk in the next video, watch, you are going to talk about uh, your routine. Yes, it could be very, a very nice video. Yes. And I want you to go very quickly now, very quickly, to um, pages 54 and 55. Pages 54 and 55. Manitos. Pages 54 and 55 from the class book. Yes. The video watch. Yes. All right. Yes or no? Yes. 54 and 55. Yes. Okay. I want you to put the date in all the pages. Yes, okay. You will do exercises one, two, three, four, and we are going to do together eight. That uh, We are going to wa uh, warm up what you are going to talk 
in your video, all right? Is it clear? Well, first of all, first of all, I want you to uh, highlight, yes? I want you to highlight, yes, the, um, the activities you are going to do, yes? Exercises one, two, three, four, and highlight eight, yes? Is it clear? Yes? Okay. Well, first of all, in my free time, it says a snowboarder jumps off a mountain at Aljeska Ski Resort in Alaska. So I want, whenever you have the video watch, you have to describe the picture, yes? And say if you would like to be there, yes or no, and why. Yes, okay. So uh, he's a snowboarding. Yes, uh, it is a resort in Alaska. Uh, in the background, I can see mountains. Yes, I can see snow. Yes, I can see uh, a snowboard. I can see uh, a boy, maybe a man wearing a suit, special suit for snowboarding, a snowboarding suit. Yes, I wouldn't like to be this activity because I am not good at... Uh, um, roller skating, uh, snowboarding, um, uh, skating, yes, yeah? so I think I'm, I'm, I wouldn't be able to do this activity very well, so I can't do this activity very well. Viste como usó la teacher, I can't, activity, ta ta ta, very well. Well, so uh, I want you to go very quickly to uh, exercises one, two three four and eight so we have the before you watch yes first of all i want you to match the free time activities from one to six with the photos you have photos there yes match them come on match them uh, remember i will continue saying the answers but what you have to do is to stop the video do the activities and then listen to the answers but it's very quickly okay well, so we have playing the ukulele, going snowboarding, going to concerts, gardening on an allotment, playing frisbee, playing golf. Okay, so number one, F, number two, C, number three, A, number four, B, <coughs> sorry, number five, D, number six, E. Yes, is it clear? Yes. And the question in number two is, do you like doing this kind of activities in your free time? Yes, no, why? And do you uh, do any similar activities? For example, do you like uh, playing any instruments? The guitar, or the violin, the piano? What do you uh, play? Yes, do you enjoy playing? What songs do you play? Because in the, uh, in the task, you will have to say what activities you enjoy, what, what activities you do in your free time, yes? If you enjoy these activities and why, yes? For example, I play the guitar. Um, I have played, uh, I started playing the guitar uh, when I was six years old. And now I can play the guitar very well. And you use can, the verb, plus an adjective. An adverb, sorry, plus uh, a verb and an adverb. Yes, and you will say, uh, why? Yes, um, I like playing the, the guitar because I can relax. I can play different songs. I can play the Beatles songs. I can play the Nirvana songs. I can play the Metallica song. I can play the any Michael Jackson song, any of the artists you like. Yes. Um, what other activities? Do you go snowboarding? Do you practice? Do you do skateboarding? Yes, okay. Um, do you go to concerts? Well, I enjoy going to concerts in my free time. I enjoy because I enjoy it, uh, because I enjoy being with my friends. Yes, I can uh, spend a nice moment. Yes, I can listen to music. Listening to music is an activity that I really love. Yes, because you can um, relax, yes, you can uh, see, yes, 
what the song says, yes, the message in a song, yes, is it clear? Entonces, vas a explicar, you are going to say why you do these activities, yes, and if you enjoy these activities, okay? So be careful, no? I, in, the, in, the, in my free time, I clean the house, I watch TV, ta. No, you say, what activities you do? Which are the most interesting activities, interesting activities you do and why you like doing it. And if you enjoy doing these activities, be careful there. Okay, well, uh, do you do any similar? We have already talked about that, okay? Well, in my free time, I read books, yes, uh, novels. I read uh, detective stories and horror. I like Stephen King, but I prefer Yes, I think uh, I prefer reading uh, detective stories. Arthur Conan, Conan Doyle, for example, the Shakespeare stories. Yes, um, the stories from Shakespeare. And then what I do in my free time? I like watching films. Yes, I like watching series. Yes, um, I like, I enjoy and I really love playing with my daughters. Yes. Um, sharing uh, good moments with my family, eating, yes, okay, just talking, yes, okay. Uh, well, you have to say why you enjoy them, yes, okay, good. So let's go very quickly to exercise three. And it says, watch the video, what three questions do these people answer? I'm not going to play all the video, yes, you're going to... Um, watch it again at home because I'm going to send it to you in the Google Classroom. Yes, through. I really like music, so in my free time I like going to concerts. I really like music, so in my free time I like going to concerts and I really like... I really like music, so in my free time I like going to concerts and I really like playing the ukulele. So this is that question number one. What do you like, what do you do in your free time? I really like music, so in my free time I like going to concerts and I really like playing the ukulele. I love gardening, and so I have an allotment. In my free time, I really like going snowboarding in the winter. And during the summer, I play quite a lot of disc golf. Disc golf is essentially a mix between frisbee and golf. It's a lot of fun. Wow, I didn't know that. This is sport, a mixture between golf and frisbee. Oh my god, I was ignorant. How often do you do it? These are the questions you have to answer. Your video would be like this. I practice this. the ukulele every day for about 10 or 15 minutes. And then every week on a Monday, a group of them... Do you understand that this is the warm up to your activity? Yes, your video would be like this. You will have to explain all these questions, answering all these questions, yes? Okay? Yes, do Joe. Let's go to a cafe together to play the ukulele. I like going to cafes too. In the spring, I go quite often because I have to dig the soil and get it ready. In the summer, when I plant, dig. I go less often. And in the autumn, I pick the vegetables and I have to go less often still. Wow. During the winter, I'll maybe go snowboarding for two weeks on a holiday. Um, and during the summer... You know, the free time activities that you do in summer, in winter, in autumn, in spring, yes? What activities do you do in spring? Yes, you go camping, you go to the riverside with your friends, yes? You celebrate Students' Day, yes, okay? I will usually play disc golf once a week 
and some weekends I go away for competitions. Why do you enjoy doing these activities? I enjoy playing the ukulele because I love making music and it's a really easy instrument to play. And I really like getting together with friends. And we've got a very good teacher who teaches us some really good songs. I enjoy doing it because I like the fresh air and enjoy eating the vegetables we grow. This is the best. My husband likes doing gardening also and we love, this is, this is the thing we love, this is one of the things we love, yes, is picking up and eating the food. Yes, the vegetables you grow, it's amazing because you can pick, it, pick them up from your garden, yes, and prepare it in a salad, yes, the vegetables, yes, and it's amazing because you have grown up them. I enjoy snowboarding because you get to spend time in really beautiful mountain scenery. It's also a nice way to take a holiday and you come back. Good teacher who teaches us some really good songs. I enjoy doing it because I like the fresh air and enjoy eating the vegetables we grow. Yes, eating the I vegetables enjoy they grow. No spend time they in really grow. beautiful mountain scenery. It's also a nice way to take a holiday and you come back feeling very refreshed. Disc golf is a nice way for me to hang out with my friends during the summer and also going to competitions at weekends it takes me to some quite interesting locations yes and they know interesting locations i would like to do that yes a mixture between golf and frisbee yes i i i would like to try yes and the the place the sceneries uh the locations no sceneries the location they go are very nice green space green air yes okay well so you have to do exercise three and four. Yes, I will. Now is the time that you have to pause the video. I will say the answers. Yes, and then you play it again. Question one: Caroline going to concert playing the ukulele. ukulele yes. Okay. Uh, have you ever played the ukulele? Yes. Okay. Marine gardening. Ben going snowboarding and playing disc golf. Disc golf. Question two, Caroline, every day for about 10 and 15 minutes every week on a, on a Monday. Maureen, quite often in the spring, less often in the summer and autumn. Ben, snowboarding for two weeks, this golf once a week, competition some weekends. And question three, Caroline loves making music, getting together. What's the meaning of get together? Reunirse, yes, meet friends, yes. Do you like getting together? Yes, I like get, getting together, yes, with my friends. Get together with friends. Okay, Maureen, fresh air, eating fresh vegetables, eating the things she grows, yes. Ben, beautiful mountain scenery, hang out with friends. You know what's the meaning of hang out with friends? Uh, to spend a good moment with friends, yes, okay, visit some interesting locations. Do you like hanging out with friends? I do, yes, okay. Well, um, and I will send you the video, yes, okay, and um, remember, yes, uh, to organize your idea, your idea before playing, before recording. Yes, okay. And in exercise A, he says, um, what do you do in your free time? How often you do it and why you enjoy it? Again, I'm going to say some things and uh, we have already warmed up, yes, for your nice video. So I will wait it for it. I will wait for it. Well, so in my free time, uh, I enjoy, uh, in, uh, in winter, in winter, I like watching TV. Uh, drinking some coffee, yes, prepare everything like a cinema at home, yes, and watching videos, watching films with my girls, with my two girls, and at night with David, yes, okay. Um, I'm 
enjoy it. I, well, watching videos, watching films, at least twice a week. Yes, I do it at least twice a week at the weekend because during the week is impossible. This is in winter. In summer, um, what I do in summer, I go to the beach. Yes. Uh, I always go to the beach in summer. Yes. Okay. Uh, because I love the, the beach. Um, I like the beach because uh, I can relax in the beach. I can see the sea. I can see the sunset. Yes. Okay. Uh, in autumn, I like uh, going to the riverside because the climate is very nice. Yes, it isn't so hot. It isn't so cold. Yes. So uh, autumn is a good moment to go walking along the riverside with my two girls and my husband. Yes. Okay. And why I like it? Because I can share a good moment. Yes, I can talk. They can play. My daughter, my two daughters can play. Yes, okay, and a breathe fresh air. And you say winter, autumn, summer, uh, spring. In spring, I like celebrating my birthday. <laughs> well, I do it once a year. Well, um, I like in spring, what I like in spring, uh, riding, uh, by, riding my bike. Yes, okay, and I enjoy seeing my two girls riding their bikes. Yes, spring is a very nice uh, season because you can see many flowers, many trees, you can see the lapachos everywhere in autumn and spring. Yes, okay. And I enjoy, what else I enjoy in spring? I'm going shopping. Yes, because you can, show, uh, you can buy different um, dresses, skirts, yes, uh, what it is on fashion at that moment. And I love um spring clothes and summer clothes yes dresses tops and uh, shoes yes because you are preparing yourself for the summer yes okay and i like shopping because i really enjoy yes shopping accessories uh buying accessories buying clothes buying everything uh, i love going to uh shops but not going to the supermarket for example yes okay well that's all. Uh, I wait for your video. See you next class. I hope you have enjoyed the class and I hope you can, um, you could understand, yes, you could have understood, yes, all your mistakes. Yes, check everything in the Google Classroom. Yes, and I wait for you next class. See you. Bye bye.